We're going to look at some tools for cleaning up a scan set. This is an outdoor scan set. There are 27 scans. This scan set was conducted in, uh, with very low quality, so we've got quite a bit of noise that we have to get cleaned up. Uh, the purpose of uh, the low quality scan was to capture the area quickly. Uh, the area was quite dynamic and we needed it in color. So we needed to get in and get our scans quickly with the least interference pro uh, possible from traffic. With that said, uh, let's move forward. Uh, one of the first things that I want to do is get a handle on the area that I'm working with. So I'll just apply a clipping box. Uh, we'll start there. And I'll adjust the clipping box so that I can cut out a lot of the vertical noise the noise that might be up in the sky. Drop this uh, bottom part of the clipping box down. And now we'll go to a top view and kind of look at the area that we're most interested in. Here we'll uh, make some rotation adjustments and continue to make our clipping box smaller. Again, controlling the area that we're most interested in. We really don't need these power lines, so we can drop this down considerably, bring it up from the bottom. Now we're getting much closer uh, to the area we want to keep. So I'll turn off the visibility of the clipping box. I'll right click on the clipping box, choose properties, and rename it. This is going to be my main clipping box. And we can come back and adjust this as necessary. Now the next uh, step, we want to consider uh, getting rid of some of the areas that are least important around this main scene. So we could do that a lot of different ways. Uh, we could clean some more with clipping boxes, uh, but I'm going to choose cleaning with a polygon. So one of the first things I'm going to do is some major cleaning with this polygon. I'll click uh, Select Polygon. And when I click on Select Polygon, uh, I'm going to go around an area of interest uh, and get rid of quite a bit of this uh, unwanted scan data right in here. So I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to start out here on this, this roadway area. There wasn't a whole lot of scan data captured on the road that's usable. And once I double click, it will select this area, all this stuff in yellow. I'll right click, choose selection, and then choose delete points. So that will get rid of quite a bit of that data. And I'll repeat this process to capture, get rid of the things that I missed. I'm going to right click again and choose selection, delete points. Um, now I'm also going to do some major cleaning. I'm going to right click on the clipping box and choose active clipping boxes. And I'm going to choose delete invisible points. And that's going to get rid of all the points outside of the clipping box. Now these deletes, um, while you're never uh, changing the original documentation or original scans, these deletes do permanently delete this, the uh, scan points from this revision. So let's uh, continue on with our cleanup. I'm going to click Select Polygon. I'm going to come over here to the edges. Let's see what we have selected here. I may need to reselect this from a top view to make sure I don't cut out anything vertically like trees or anything in the background. So to clear this, I'll just right click, choose Selection, Dismiss. And I'll reselect using the polygon. So this is an upper section of a parking lot that was not important. And you'll notice I'm not going to the beginning of the polygon. I get close to it and double click. And this way it ensures that it's going to enclose the area I've selected and not cut it off short. So I right click again, choose select and delete points. And now we're starting to get uh, closer 
to uh, the area we want to keep. So these uh, power lines, I'm going to get rid of those real quick. I've got a couple of areas over on this side that I'm going to clean up. Now the polygon tool is really useful for cleaning up. Just be careful. Make sure that you don't uh, select something accidentally that you need to keep. So we're getting this cleaned up quite well. We've got uh, some noise right here on the entrance. Uh, this was a car driving through, or a few cars that came through during the scan, so we'll try to take care of those with uh, one of the new filters. All right, so remember, uh, guys, the longer you work, uh, the more likely you are to make a mistake, so you want to save and save often. We've got a couple of cars driving through here as well, so I'm going to apply one of the new filters uh, from Scene 2019. And uh, normally I will go here and, and choose save. In this case, uh, after I save, I would go to processing, choose moving objects filter, select the project and click configure filter. For now, we'll leave these all at the default and we'll click start filter. Now this process takes a while, so be patient, uh, go get some coffee, and then come back and check on your project. The Moving Objects filter has done a really good job of removing the vehicles from the parking lot and the entrance. It took a little while for it to complete, but it did a really good job overall.